Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we took out Scorch. Because now there's a level and a boss named Scorch, which isn't confusing at all. And, uh... Made our way here to Midnight Mountain. An entire region named after my cat. Go figure. Huh. These guys don't usually just hang out in the hub world. Get back here, you fuck. Haunted tomb? That's... hang on, he's just running in a... I don't know the level well enough yet. Fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, that seems to be the trick. If he's just running in a circle, I can probably cut him off somewhere, but... Yourself, lizard. That probably sounded really weird in the uh, audio. I'm looking forward to checking that. Oh, this is one of these. Oh, yes! That actually reminds me. Uh, I had a comment about everyone's favorite bug. Our little buddy Sparks. Let me see. Let me see. Here it is! Shout out to Miracle Tiger, who... Actually, I'm gonna move away from that guy, because fuck that guy. Maybe he won't do the taunt if he can't see me. Uh, yeah, sorry. Miracle Tiger. Who informed me that, uh, well, this. Sparks' ability to point out the nearest gem was not default in the original Spyro games. In fact... Spyro the Dragon and Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage lacked it entirely. I found that very surprising. So here's the trick. That ability for Sparks to point out the nearest gem was originally unlocked when you beat Spider Town. That's why I didn't get anything last time. Because they made it, you know, a, a, how did they put it? a baseline ability to all three games in the trilogy. It's very interesting. You know, Miracle Tiger also points out that, you know, because of the you know, this and a few other things they give you, if you wait until, if you save the, all the Sparks levels to the end, you don't really get anything out of them, because by then, you know, you've probably, uh, gotten all the stuff. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Oh dear, I didn't even see that guy in front of me. This is also not where I thought I would be. Um... Well, there's the sign for that. Dino Mines, cool, cool. Harbor Speedway, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Hang on, where did that guy run off to then when I was chasing him? Thank you. Oh, I've not been in here, because there are gems there. Where the actual fuck am I? This is confusing. I know my sense of direction is bad, but I didn't think it was this bad. Can I even get anywhere else from up here? Oh, good. There is a way out. I'm not just, you know, sentenced to be... That is a lot of lizards. Huh. Sentenced to be here for the remainder of eternity. Hang on. Oh, yes, actually, I believe that's also in there. Yeah, the last Sparks level uh, awards you the ability to directly warp to levels through the menu. Huh. Apparently it gives you something different in the Reignited trilogy. Or at least it, you know, it originally gave you two abilities, and now it still gives you the one. Ah, yes, of course, over here! It's this little path I did not see, yes. I knew I wasn't going crazy. How did I miss that? 
Oh, I see. I saw the cave, but I didn't know there was actually a connector there because I had the camera at just the right angle when I was looking up at the doorway. Right, okay. Well, Crystal Island sounds cool. There you are. Yeah, I thought that it would be just a circle that leads... Yeah, here we go. So what if I chase you the other way? Does that lead to anything good? Ow. Alright, that was on me. I didn't actually notice that it ended with a big uh, lump there. Happy birthday, Mikan! I have even more significant questions than I did about the ones who were born wearing clothes. Desert Ruins. There's a page in the Spyro wiki listing all the differences between the original games and the, tr the Reignited trilogy. What? Oh, good. More doll eyes. Whoop. Hi, Sparks. Oh, it's Sky Islands. We're in the sky. Okay. The cubes I was not expecting. I looked over there and I'm like, looked like something out of the fucking astral plane over there. That was a control reference. I realized I should probably make that clearer. Since, you know, my audience does not share universal knowledge with each other. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but we were stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we are practicing using it. Unfortunately, we've had the beat of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Oh boy. I really think I'm beginning to get the hang of this magic malarkey. I was half expecting to say, well, there's been an, uh, there was an accident, and we turned several of the guys into boss monsters. Sorry! Since it seems fairly easy to do that with magic. <laughs> Although I will say, the Marvelous Magnifico is probably the best NPC name I've seen in this entire trilogy so far. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, important question. Not lethal! Okay. Cool. What the fuck? You didn't mention you turned the indigenous life forms into crystal. Is that a beaver with bat wings? No. What in God's name are you? Off you go, then. I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, it's like a lamppost. Okay. Go figure. They can't even master magic yet, but the very first thing they do is use it to install magic light sources. I don't know what it is with magic users. That was not what I was expecting to happen there. Oh, hey. Sorry. But, you know, for the cause and all that. No, they just disintegrate. Okay, sure, sure. What? I thought I saw a fish for a moment. Oh! Are you... You're probably evil. Yeah, you're evil. Okay. Let's see what happens if I charge you. I actually missed, because I'm... This isn't a great angle for this. That's why I would be honest about that. Um... Let's try it. No, there we go. There we go. I just needed to give it more of a run up. I 
I find that thing about you know, this really interesting, because that's that has been a fundamental ability. I don't know that I could have beaten the first two games as well as I did without that ability. Honestly, I thought this was the only thing they uh, carried over like that. Actually, now that I think about it, I think someone might have told me about that while I was playing the first game, but that was, you know, back in February, so... Cool! Do I have to fight that? That's too awesome to destroy! Alright, alright, I'll get rid of the crystal bear dog. Which one is that? The pit bull? I'm trying to remember. No, the... I don't remember. Like Spike from Tom and Jerry. I think his name is Spike. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully! As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve, and nothing up my right sleeve. Exactly. But Boring. now, <laughs> with a wave of my hands and the magic word... Ice! Alakazam! Okay, yes, I'm just calling it in case that he was going to explode, lay it out there. His name is the Great Zamboni. A Zamboni is an ice resurfacing machine. He's going to freeze that pool behind us. <laughs> that is not what happened, and I have to admit, I am deeply amused by this. Why are you called Zamboni? Why you didn't make the crystals out of something, you know, denser. Yes, contrary to popular belief, it's actually quite easy to turn something into gold. The problem is, if you transmute something into gold, uh, it becomes extremely fragile, and when you crack it, it turns back into the original substance. He said, talking as if he had any idea what he was getting at. You want to see the trick again? Well, all right. But I wanted you to know this isn't as easy as it looks. I apologize, Alakazam. the great Zamboni. <laughs> oh. Oh. Props for making them actually rotate at first. That was funny. I guess they just ceased to exist in this case. Oh, yeah, and I read apparently online that apparently, uh, I didn't notice, but the fairies come in seasonal varieties, and the reason that, uh, Zoe's outfit is done up in those colors is because she's an autumn fairy. I tried not to dwell on that one. is just misdirection, you know? Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there. Abracadabra! Um... <laughs> I like that. He talks about it like it's stage magic, and then he summons up a tornado. Oh, that kind of whirlwind. Okay, I see. Let me guess, it's going to shut off, and I have to, uh... Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Missed. Man, this place is nuts. And if you look to our right, you will see the Kryptonite Forest. That's where popcorn crystals are made, of course. That's why they're so rare in Avalar. They had to be imported here, and no one had been traveling between the two zones in a very long time. That's right, kids. I just made up lore for a mini game from the second game. Oh, 
Although, come to think of it, there's, like, entire channels based on making up lore with no- with little to no evidence, so, you know. <laughs> What's up, turtle? Oh, I see. Where will you get that much peanut butter? Okay. I'll show you again. If you watch carefully, maybe you'll be able to see how it's done. Abracadabra! <laughs> you wave your stick and a beam of magical energy comes out of it. That's not, like, a trick. <laughs> oh. Made it! Oh. How many gems has he taken from me? I've got just over 5,000. That was nice. Holy shit! Okay, I almost regret checking that. I wonder if Hunter is going to shake the money out of him again at the end. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? I did not. My specialty is the... Uh, Amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I'll need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. Hmm. You know what? It's just occurred to me he barely uses the small fee line in this one, even though it was in almost all of them in the second game. Huh. I'd been thinking of that as his catchphrase. I'm just trying to think to myself, no, 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 we're, uh, of course, uh, of course, Dungeons and Dragons was a thing back then. It's been a thing since the 80s, but, uh... I was thinking, you know, you use, like, oh, the Dungeons and Dragons thing of... It's material components! I'm gonna need a few gems for this spell. I pay a thousand gems to cross the bridge. I'm happy over here. You shouldn't anger a magician, Spyro. I just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog or something. Oh, well done! I wonder if that line was in there in 2000. I guess it would have had to be, huh? <laughs> I do love when they reference each other. I think I had a comment about something in here. I took a picture. Well, I don't know, but I will give a shout out to Roshan, who was very grateful that I didn't title the episode that introduced uh, Agent 9 as Back to Monkey. <laughs> Okay. Not again. Okay, fine. Very good. Ha, ah, let's see. Hocus pocus, ziggledy zen, make this bridge get long again. Dead silent, too. Oh! I've been working on a great new magic trick, but this bear keeps spoiling it. And again, it's really more of a bear with a head of a... Oh. My organs. Ow. Meant to do that. Working on a great new magic trick, but this bear keeps spoiling it. At least the audio is coming from the right direction. The first time I talked to this guy, I could hear the bear audio coming from my left ear for some reason. Well, first thing to go in here and do all this stuff, because uh, I'm guessing it's going to be like the other ones where he only does the thing for a limited amount of time. Miss. I hit down instead of up. Or rather, up instead of down. Oh, hey, perfect. Oh. And there's a Bentley level over there. Hopefully without any boxing gloves. I can't tell what, what those are supposed to be. They've got, like, beaver tails, but I don't know, man. 
I ain't never seen a beaver that looks like that. Here's a fun fact. The front teeth on beavers are supposed to be orange because they're made out of a different material than the rest of their teeth. You know, what with them cutting down trees and shit with those. Well, I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni, he steals all my best work. Alakazam! <laughs> great. I'm guessing that guy there is the end of the level. But we're gonna find out next time on Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon Reignited. There's a lot more of Midnight Mountain to explore. And, uh... Well, we're gonna get on it. See you then, guys. Later!